How's it going, everyone? I'm the Sonic Dave, and welcome back to more than the Nostalgia Train. <whistles> Alright, so, I think I finally figured out how to do this little puzzle thing, but I need to keep a close eye on exactly where that sparkly sparkle thing shows up. <coughs> that was impeccable timing, Pink Fox. If you guys can't hear it, she just coughed right after I finished that. Okay, so what I'm going to, what I figured is like, Next to me, if you guys can see it, if not, I'll just explain it anyway, but... So the bottom board, the one that's kind of diagonal, above it are a few cracks. Take like two steps, or actually just one small push of the left D-pad button, and after standing over those cracks, and you should, we should have it. Give that a shot. I actually did some off-screen practice, I guess you could say, and I got a trophy for that. So this should work again. If not, then the game is downright broken. It was just trying to be nice to me and give me the dang LPR's curse. This is where it should show up. Is this a spot where we saw that? Yes. I think so. Does it move or something, or am I just... Okay. I don't know. Well, anyway. Hey, 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 let me out. Reef. In here? Alright. And boom. You're mine now. Yes! Ah, there we go. Almost got it. Aha! Gotcha. No, me, I got it. I see that. You did? Nice to I Oh, you're looking right at her. Out. I guess I should expect people to be stupid in horror games. That's why everyone dies in horror stories. Turned out to be this. This is where I got the achievement when I was practicing. This is about as far as I got, though, so didn't really miss anything. I don't remember what the name of the achievement was, but you get an achievement for just getting that. Just to show what you what a little teamwork can do, eh? <laughs> we make a great team. We come across another puzzle. I need to be a lot more observant. That's all I gotta say. The sad thing is, that's what Aaron tells me every single time he comes over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's right. Did I read this? I forget. All the windows, doors, and outside walls of this school are completely immovable. You can't open them, you can't break them, you can't bust them down. Anything that doesn't lead outside the school, though. Like the hall, hall windows in the classrooms can be affected to some extent or another. Second, just as some people are inherently good, Bad nature. Some of the ghosts in here are good, while others are quite nasty. Oh, good! More kind and gentle spirits shed a pale blue light, while the less savory types appear blood red. Okay, so basically, stay away from red. In this game, stay away from red. Hi, buddy. It's partly, partially bleached. Skeletons sprawled across the floor. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any sort of name tag this time. Oh well. Based on the gore-soaked remains of this uniform and the link. Oh, I think I have read this one actually. Did I seriously skip out on this note? Really? That's kind of important. Oh, that's right. Stay away from it. Red bad. Red bad. Nothing. Nothing. Well, this is, this is tampered with. I feel like I should break it down. Ugh, fine. Whew. Yeah, can't break in there. Can I go in here at all? You guys can't see it. Now you can. Uh... 
Why are there so many notes all of a sudden on this? Or is this a different floor? I might think of a different floor. Basement. The door is nailed shut. It definitely won't be opening anytime soon. Do not enter under any circumstances. Principal Takamine Yanagi Yanagihori. I think is how you say that. I mean, I don't know. I might be close. Okay, what does this say? My head is splitting. It's unbearable. Ah! Can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. When we found Yuzuha, Yuzuha's body, I saw a black shadow. But I didn't tell anyone about it. Now, it's killed them all. Okay, note to self. You see a black shadow, tell everyone. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry. Dead. Well, the lower half of the text is obscured by a thick layer of dried blood. Black shadow probably killed him. But note to self. See a black shadow, tell everyone. Okay, so I can't go in there yet. What about in here? Classroom 4A. The door seems attached to the wall. Like a sculpture. It won't budge in the slightest. Are you telling me go in the red door? I refuse. I'm not going any near anything red. Blue light. Hurts. It hurts so much. Interact with the blue, not the red. Um, I think I have read this stuff over here already, actually. Yeah, I have. So, let's go back upstairs. See if we can do anything up here. Infirmary. Yay! I can finally go in there. Use the infirmary key. The door is now unlocked. Let's go. Hello? Please stop! The whistling in the air is not my friend. Hello? Vast quantities of medicine and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves, along with a single bottle of rub rubbing alcohol. What did they need all of these for? So that's red, don't touch it. That's not, touch it. Wash your hands with soap. Duh. There's a pair of scissors on one of the shelves. Both its blades covered liberally in blood. Vast quantities of medicines and tonics. Okay, same as before. It's an old-fashioned space heater. But it's so full of ash that it'll probably never light again. A box of matches is on the ground next to it. Take them? Sure. Got a box of matches. That's going to benefit me so much, I hope. All right. Now on, since I have multiple uh, lights, I'm going to try to save in each of these. So, save in the infirmary and move on. The handle turns, but not a drop of water comes out. That's... I didn't realize just how thirsty I am. Huh? Somehow, I expected the beds to be a lot dustier. By the way, light. Yeah, someone just burned popcorn in my apartment. I should probably add again because this happens often. Oh well. Big box just opened the window. Did you actually cover that? If you go in your, it's still gonna come through. That actually works. Anyway, they are surprisingly clean. That's good, though. Why? We're in a horror area. It doesn't matter if they're clean or not. Now you can find the rest of your weary bones, Naomi. Why do I feel like that's a bad idea? That's a bad idea. Oh, boy. I'll tuck away in the corner like that. I've always preferred nooks and corners. What about crannies? 
Like, isn't that basically what a corner is? No. My brain is not. No, David. Term nooks and crannies are not. <sighs> Whatever. They just make me feel safe, I guess. Look around you. If there's any red, run. Okay, I think we're good. Fine, rest. Haha. <laughs> Oh, just what you mean. I'm the exact same way. Okay, Psycho. I wonder if there's anything in here we could use to suit that ankle of yours. Sit tight, Naomi. I'm gonna take a look. Okay. Thanks a bunch. <coughs> wow. Popcorn's having a big effect on it. Think box. Don't thank me yet. This is why I said maybe we should rebuild the freaking humidifier that we got. You guys will see it in the earlier video if you haven't watched it yet. Don't thank me yet. I haven't done anything. <sighs> yeah, I know. Has probably. What are you doing, Psycho? You're literally looking on top of a table. If you, if it was there, you could have. Ah, this will do nicely. I got me a makeshift plant and some badges. That sprain's a goner. Now hold still. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, man. You're a lifesaver. Honestly, that just makes... All right. You're wrapped up tight. How's it feel? Mm, feels great. Psycho, thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. I've sprained my ankle pretty badly before, too, so I know just how you feel. Wish I had some ice or something to put on it, though. No worries. You've done more than enough already. Uh, you're asleep now? That's... Fair enough, I guess. Glad you agree. <laughs> It's slumberland for me. That's a bad idea. You really are an oddball. You know that? So, hey, Naomi. What up? That's totally not what she said, but, you know, I'm going to say it anyway. If we find Moshida, have you thought about what you want to do with them? Eh? Well, you know what they say. Two people are faced with difficult situations, shall we say. It often leads to love. Sweet love. Psycho! That's not necessary. You should well up all of your courage and confess your feelings to him. You get all girly with him in this creepy place, and your cuteness factor will grow three sizes in his eyes, I bet. What? I swear, with you around, I almost feel like we're just shooting the breeze back at school. Like nothing ever happened. She already said it. I don't need to say it. Thanks for your advice. I'll think about it. <laughs> Hope we find him soon. Uh huh. Kinda don't, though, do you? You're thinking about how you wish he didn't have to be put through all this. You want to see him, but you wish you could rest easy knowing that he's safe and sound back home, rather than wandering around here. Am I right? Must be those maternal instincts. You, uh, what? I mean, I know what that is. Don't. That's not why I'm saying what, but... Why are we having this conversation? <coughs> Must be those maternal instincts of yours kicking in. Huh. You're a deep one, to be sure. She may sound like an idiot. She's right on all accounts. Guess there's no fooling Psycho. I've been pretty curt with her since we got here. I'll have to make sure I apologize later. <gasps> Is, are you choking or something? What's going on? And what was that exactly? 
<laughs> Sorry, it's just when I see that ass of yours, I start to what? You're so weird. Okay. I haven't done that voice since freaking Legend of Zelda, um, Wind Waker. Prior to this playthrough. That was Yuka again. I heard it too. I'll go take a look. You stay here and rest, okay? I'll be back in a, in a gym. I can't speak. I don't think that's such a good idea. You should go too. I insist. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Just keep that ass parked on that bed. You got it? Why? Why, why are you talking like that? Well, but... Look, your ankle's all dressed and feeling better, right? Don't make it all for nothing. <sighs> Alright. I guess I'll stay here. Not! Okay, we're moving around. My ankle really does feel a lot better. Psycho has a definite knack for caretaking. <sighs> Miss Yui and the others. Itachi? I wonder what they're all doing right now. Beats me, dude. Rumble, rumble. Boom, boom. Yeah, that sound. What the hell is wrong with you, Satoshi? Get a hold of yourself. Get off of me. That's my chest. Sorry, sorry. Didn't see where I was. Oh, it's this scene. It's a flashback. Okay. You're lucky you're so cute. What? I'm very confused at this point. Ugh. I just want to see him. Why did this have to happen? Okay, well, that was interesting. Well, one way or the other, we'll figure stuff out later. For right now, I'm going to leave this video here. Go ahead and save by the candlelight in the infirmary because our friend is gone and now I'm concerned. Is there any red around? Aside from this. You know what? Before we leave, there's an an anatomical diagram of the human body. Ew! Oh. I thought it was going to be worse. Actually, that looks normal for a medical area, so... Wait, it seems to what? Looking closely, it seems as if someone painted over each of the organs with actual blood. I'm reverting back to the EU part. Uh, anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Corpse Party. Remember, stay away from red. It's not a good idea to go near. I don't know why I just did that. That's why I'm not saving after this. I've already saved, so we're good. Uh, if you like this video, though, make sure to push that like button, and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really like to consider subscribing to the channel. Have a suggestion for a horror RPG or just a horror game in general you'd like to see on here? Let us know in the comments below. Want to check out one that has been done prior to this? Click the link in the bottom right corner, try and take you to that destination. It'll be one of, I think, like, two that are, like, kind of singular and on their own. Uh, want to check out any of the stops on this right you might have missed. Quick link across from my head here and the train ticket there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!